What is up, Dallas Cowboys fans? It has happened. It is official. It is done. I feel like I'm saying that for the second time in his career. Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys have come to terms, have agreed on a four-year contract extension worth $240 million. For those of you bad at math, just like me, that is $60 million a year. He has now reset the uh, the quarterback market. He is the highest paid NFL player of all time, much less quarterback. Um, and this happens just hours before the kickoff of the 2024 season against the Browns in Cleveland. We'd heard rumors that things were heating up and that both sides wanted to have something done before the start of the season. Um, that being the case, you sure took it to the to the threshold there, didn't you, Jerry and Dak? Um, don't have money, you know, guaranteed on that yet, um, or any other details other than four years, two hundred forty million dollars, and um, you can see that I'm my eyes a little red because I've been rubbing my eyes in in trying to figure this thing out. Um, uh, uh, just tired from a long night covering college football as well, so. Um, The important thing here, though, Dak will be a Cowboy at least for the next five years, barring, you know, any probably unforeseen things. Um, I would almost hazard a guess there's going to be another no trade clause in there for him. Uh, Can't speculate on the uh, guaranteed money that will come out here, I'm sure, at some point. But again, just on the on the on the threshold of the season starting against Cleveland up in uh, the newly renamed. Uh, what is it, Huntington Bank Field up in Cleveland now as the Cowboys and Browns get ready to kick off here in a few hours on this NFL Sunday. But uh, Dak, of course, finished second in the uh, league MVP voting last year to Lamar Jackson. He started all 17 games, 12-5 and five as a starter last year for Prescott. Uh, 36 touchdowns. Just nine interceptions on the year last year. He matched his career high or low, however you look at it, of a 1.5% interception percentage, um, matching his 2018 numbers of 1.5 when he had 22 touchdowns to eight interceptions. Uh, he is a three-time Pro Bowler. You know, all the all the stuff that Cowboys fans already know about him in the regular season. <clears throat> that we also know about him in the postseason. Dak Prescott, unquestionably one of the best uh, regular season quarterbacks in the NFL today. But the stigma is playoffs. Two and four in the playoffs right now. And it's, it's a little unfair because it's a team sport. And I would argue that last season in the wild card loss to the um, to the Green Bay Packers, Dak played well enough to win that game hands down. You score 40-plus points in the NFL, you should win the game. And it was the defense and Dan Quinn's defensive scheme against those Packers that that was the failure on that day. And who knows, had had Dallas beat the Packers that day, this extension might have gotten done in the offseason much, much sooner. We might not even have, have been having to talk about this. But instead, Jordan Love got his extension. And we had to go the entire offseason speculating about Dak. Was it going to happen? Was it not going to happen? But boys and girls, it has happened. He is in four years, $240 million, $60 million a year. We will report more for you as the details become available on Dak's contract, the guaranteed money, uh, any other uh, little intricate details that would come out about it. We will make sure we report to you. But boys and girls, get ready for Cowboys, Browns this afternoon. 325 Central Time on Sunday, and we will be back with the post game for that uh, for sure after the game, either the win or the loss from Cowboys. Lots of game stories happening. Make sure you head over to CowboysCountry.com as well as here at FanStreamSports.com for all the latest NFL news, Dallas Cowboys news, college football news. Subscribe to the channel. Find me on Twitter. I'm sorry, X. Find me on X at IndyCar Tim. I would love to hear from you Let and uh, let me know what you think of the Dak deal and let me know what you think of this upcoming season you can also comment in the video comment section here on fanstreamsports.com and our youtube page we'd love to talk to you there as well we'll see you after the game boys and girls until then see you